Sun Post, Brooklyn Park, Brooklyn Center newspaper issue of May 4, 2023 will contain voters' guide for special election primaries to Brooklyn Park City Council to be held on May 9, 2023. Voters' guide will contain bio information on candidates and their answers to three questions from senior editor Andrew Wick. However, Andrew Wick refused to publish my original answers, which I emailed to him on Thursday, April 27th evening. On Monday, May 1, 2023, Andrew Wick wrote to me, I am going to have to edit your responses. Your answers mention names of specific people. I can't print their names without their permission and verification of the events you describe. I also can't print your description of events themselves without verification, and I don't have time for that at this point. I am a professional freelance journalist stringer, editors of leading newspapers and websites in Europe and the USA for which I wrote features and reports never ever published their edits without submitting them for my written approval. And the Whig does not like my fair statements exposing the malpractice of Brooklyn Park police officers. That is why he wants to delete from my answers my eyewitness statements describing the brutality of Brooklyn Park police officers and also my retelling of the statements of the victims Earl Bothwell and Marlene Roder. I personally spoke several times to them about these incidents. Listen and read below my three original answers to Mr. Wick's questions. Question 1. Why are you running for city council? As you remember, in 2023, I was nominated for the seventh time since 2014 to city council by hundreds of Brooklyn Park residents three times for mayor and four times for council member. It is important to realize recent census results. Population of Sanctuary City Brooklyn Park swiftly reached 86,000. 61% Black, Indigenous, Hispanic and other people of color and 39% White. Meeting hundreds of voters, I always heard their concern with three main problems, dissuading many of them to leave Brooklyn Park, skyrocketing taxes, ugly roads, irresponsible police. Question 2. What are your views on alternative public safety models such as the Community Response Team pilot program, in which paramedics and social workers respond to certain types of calls instead of armed police officers. I approve of testing the pilot program started in December 2022 in Brooklyn Park. People mustn't experience what Strawberry Commons Condominium Association residents, including children, saw from 6 to 7 p.m. on October 29, 2022, when three police cars drove into the lawn surrounded Unit 7188 on 72nd Lane and a dozen of police officers with guns hiding behind the shield and yelling into megaphone forced elderly couple Earl and Lorraine Butwell to come out with hands up. As a result, as Earl Butwell told me, he was placed into the hospital with three day police hold and his wife had a heart attack. I think it will be right for Brooklyn Park Police, which consumes 42.4%, which is $25.7 million of 2023 Brooklyn Park budget, to engage in prevention and investigation of real crimes and in charging real criminals. On June 2022, at 7.30 p.m., Near the mailboxes on Strawberry Commons Condominium Association territory, Marlene Roder became a victim of hit-and-run accident. 
She hardly survived, spent two months in the hospital, had three surgeries, recovered in 10 months, now moves, thinks, and speaks independently. In Marlene's opinion, Brooklyn Park Police did everything not to find the hit and drum criminal driver. Question three, what are your priorities for economic development of Brooklyn Park? Today, the priority of economic development of any modern city is enhancement of production based on IT technologies and implementation of IT technologies into city management. Therefore, it is necessary to encourage Brooklyn Park individuals between ages 18 and 30 to complete IT tech training program organized by Brooklynx and to gain full-time employment after completion. Listen to more of my agenda on Run Global Media channel and subscribe to it. I need your votes, help and donations. Vote for me, independent candidate Yelena S. Kurdumova, May 9, 2023, at city primaries to put me on the ballot for August 8, 2023 special election.